We start things off with a man breathing heavy as he walks down an alleyway, when he turns a corner and finds a door. Just as he reaches it, he puts his hand out to grab the handle, and we cut to black. We then see our main man, Denji, waking up in a small shack he calls home, stating that they better head off to work. We then see him begin to make his way somewhere, while going over all of his body parts that he's sold off to try and make good on the debt he owes. One of his kidneys for 1.2 million yen, his right eye for 300,000 yen, and one of his balls, to which he barely remembers the cost of. Then, doing some quick math, he realizes that he still owes about 38 million to the Yakuza he's gotten himself tangled up in. His, uh, dog? Yeah, let's go with dog. That goes by the name of Pachita, then barks, and he agrees with it, saying that it's about time they kill their target. He says that a dead devil usually sells for around 300,000 on the black market. He then rips the cord to his chainsaw dog and says hunting devils pays the best, as he prepares to fight one. We then cut to right after the fight has taken place. He states that this devil must have been a dude known as the Tomato Devil, and they need to burn the seeds in order to stop it from reviving. The old man he works for then tells him nice job, saying that due to the fact he knows this devil's body will fetch a good price on the black market, he'll pay him 400,000 yen for it. But then because of what he owes to the Yakuza and the interest on that, he'll be left with 170,000. Oh, but then there's a finder's fee and administration costs. So all up, after killing the devil, our boy Denji is only left with 70,000 yen, and after he pays his other bills, he gets to keep a whopping 1,800. Absolute baller status. We then cut back to his shack, where he's treating himself and Pachita to a nice meal of bread. Plain bread. And he's daydreaming about the fact that people usually get to put jam and butter on their bread. But for him, that's practically an unreachable goal, as he doubts he'll even be able to pay off the debt before he dies. And even worse, he thinks he'll probably die before he even gets the chance to have a girlfriend. He thinks to himself that if he could have one dream come true, it would be to hook up with a girl before he dies. We then cut back to when he was a child, and the reason why he has this insurmountable debt in the first place. His father committed self-deletion without paying the monthly installment he owed to the Yakuza. And on the day of his father's funeral, he was told that he's got until tomorrow to get the 700,000 yen together. Otherwise, he'll be killed. After the car drives away, he hears a revving sound nearby and sees Pachita for the first time. After being scared and falling over, he tells the devil that if it wants to kill him, it can go ahead, as he's dead anyway. And we then see that Pachita is hurt and bleeding out. Not wanting to just let it die, he tells Pachita to bite him, as his blood heals devils and so Pachita does just that. Denji says that his blood isn't free though, and they're making a deal where they help each other out, because he's decided that he doesn't want to die just yet. The next day, with the help of Pachita, Denji meets with the Yakuza and throws down the dead body of a devil, asking them to hire him as a devil hunter. He then wakes up later in the night, stating that he's too hungry to sleep, and when he can't sleep, he just thinks about his dreams. Explaining to Pachita that his dream right now is to find a girl, play video games with her, and fall asleep while cuddling each other. Just then, he begins coughing up blood into his hand, and he reflects that he vaguely remembers that his mother died from something that made her cough up blood too. Someone then knocks on the door, and it's the same old man from earlier, telling him they've got a devil for him to hunt. They drive over, and after arriving in the warehouse, Denji follows the old man in asking questions about the job. The old man then stops, and another man stabs both Denji and Pachita with a sword to the back. The man then explains that even the Yakuza think about getting bigger and making more money. So they made a deal with the devil, just like Denji did with Pachita. And we see a massive devil making its way into frame. The devil then berates the Yakuza, basically calling them idiots for the trade deal they made, where they get some demonic powers, but are also turned completely into its zombie slaves, as it itself is the zombie devil. It then states that it hates devil hunters like Denji, so now it's going to kill him. Denji then tries to run from the zombies now chasing him, but due to the massive stab through his body he received, he isn't able to outrun them, and he ends up getting knocked to the ground and mobbed by all the zombies. While dying, he thinks to himself that all he ever wanted was just to live a normal life. Sometime later, we cut to a dumpster, where inside, we see Denji chopped up into bits. That's my character! I'm the trash man! We then see some of the blood leak off Denji and fall into Pachita's mouth, which makes him recall a memory of Denji, where he mentions hearing that some devils can take over dead bodies, telling Pachita that if he dies, he can take over his body, and fulfill his dreams of living a normal life and dying a normal death. We then see Denji's dismembered body beginning to form back together, and the two of them, in a dreamlike state, begin to converse for the first and only time. Pachita tells him that he always loved hearing him talk about his dreams, saying here's the new deal. 
The Pachita is going to give Denji his heart, and in exchange, Denji has to show him all of the things he dreams of. Denji then wakes up and comes out of the dumpster, surprising the zombie devil that he's still alive. As zombies come for him, Denji pulls the new cord coming out of his chest, transforming him into an absolute beast, and he goes the fuck in, ripping the zombies completely apart and killing the zombie devil. Denji then spends the rest of the night killing every single one of the remaining zombies. I guess that is one way to get out of debt. Take notes people. Sometime later, the sun rises and we see a car pull up outside the warehouse, with three people walking inside. One of which being Makama. Mmm, Makama. She sees the absolute decimation that's been left here, and upon seeing Denji, realizes that he's neither devil nor human. She asks him if he killed all of the zombies here, but Denji, barely able to stand, asks her to hold him. As she does so, he turns back into a human, and Makama gives him two choices. Either be killed by her right now, or basically become her pet. And as her pet, she would feed and look after him. Hearing that her method of feeding him would be getting him bread with jam and various other things for breakfast, Denji wholeheartedly agrees. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. It only takes a second and it really helps me out.